Hi guys, how's it going today? I am playing my first online event. I haven't played in ages online. It's going to be the Sutton Coldfield Team Challenge. Let's get straight into that. Okay, here we go. Round one against Daniel Dean. I played him before. I played him uh, in a League Cup in Birmingham, Geet Retreat. And then also I played him in uh, at a league as well. So what we starting with, this hand is... Hmm. Uh, I want to say it's okay, but it, it really isn't. It's it's like if I get one more Pokemon in hand, my hand's fine. But <clears throat> right now, I wouldn't say it's that great. I'm playing an ADP Mirror, and I'm kind of scared because it's best of one. So I need to get that turn one GX. If I don't get the turn one GX, then that's not going to be great. Especially going second against ADP. Okay, so that is a very passive turn. There is the Zacian. That is a very good start for me now. So, we can bench the Zacian. Quick ball the energy. Take it to Dene. Uh, yes. Then Metal Saucer to the Zacian. Cherish ball for an ADP. Uh, I might try check two. Let's see what's in the deck. One Crobat's prized. Uh, uh, I think we're good to go. I've prized two energies, I think. Bench that ADP, E switch to it, and the Dene. Hopefully, we can get that turn one GX, and we do! That is very nice. Okay, so I don't play the forest. I switch to ADP, and I ultimate. No, I um, alter creation GX. Turn one. Okay, nice. That's a really good start. So I was thinking my hand's not that great, my hand's not. My start isn't that great, but now I got this. Um, one thing is I don't have much in hand. I don't have much things like draw engine, like, and I don't have a boss. And I could lose just by getting if I can only hit. Oh, there's a money. I'm fine with that. So I was gonna say if I can only hit into that ADP, well, it's gonna be hard if he can just gust around me. But there is. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, Zigzagoon coming down. For one counter on the ADP. Realistically, if I really wanted to try go for, I could go for the Leon play. But it's just going to be an altered creation, not looking like too much on his board right now. Three cards in hand. I don't think I want to do anything, honestly. I think I just attach an ultimate ray. Yeah, I'm just going to go for that because. He hasn't got anything on the bench. I could Crobat, but I really don't think I need to. So I'm just going to go for that ultimate ray. Hit him for 180. And grab three energies and attach the Mortization. I really hope that he doesn't have boss. <laughs> if he has boss, well, that's going to be hard. Like, boss uh, was a Pokemon, and he probably wins just from that. <laughs> the fact that he has nothing on the bench, and I've had to hit into the ADP. Which is really not nice for me. I don't want to do that. That's the coating energy getting attached. Um, it's a heartbreak from Daniel. Wow, has he got nothing? He might not have what he needs, which will be very unfortunate for him because it's best of one and the game's only been going on for, what, four minutes? Oof. Okay, Ultimate Rain not searching any energies out. Um, then, now, I think I just hit him with ADP again. I don't really, I don't need to do anything with this hand, honestly. Uh, <clears throat> I think I just ultimate ray. I just I don't need to do anything. Uh, that is uh, some energies. I will take one water, and one no two water, and attach them both to Aegislash Slash and Dedene, so I can't get boss. Um, and stuck in the active, and that's four prizes coming down. <clears throat> okay, that's my energy. Crowbat. Okay. Let's see what happens now. Uh, okay, I don't think he can really come back from this unless... Well, there's a boss. Well, I can't be boss stored anymore. Well, I can with the Aegis Slash, I guess, but... Well, I'm really sorry if you're watching, Daniel. I'm so sorry. GG, man. Brave Blade. For the game. That is unfortunate. Well, I mean, I won round one, that's great, but I feel bad, look. 
and just breaks against me really badly. But that is round one. Here we go. This is round two. I'm against Craig Jordan, and he is playing um, Dark Box, actually. So let's see how this goes. I lost the coin flip. That's a shame. I've lost two coin flips today, so he's going to be going first. Uh, so he's playing... Ooh, this hand's kind of okay, but kind of bad. Um, so he's playing Dark Box uh, with, like, Hydreigon and stuff like that. So it's going to be fun. Um, I'm not quite happy with my hand, especially the fact that Free switch are gonna be probably are gonna be have to be ditched this turn, which is going to be harsh, very harsh. Hopefully he can't keep aggression. I do have his deck, his list on here. I just need to get up real quick, so make sure. Okay, so this is playing the Zoro Ninja as well. Uh, okay, I think I'll be, I should be able to. Hopefully I can beat this. Let's just try. I, I just don't. Oh, how you doing? Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. <laughs> Um, so, uh, I just, the, the fact that I'm ditching, probably going to be ditching free switches this turn is painful. Um, unless I really can go for like a crowbat play or something like that, but I don't know if that's going to come down. If he misses dino turn one, then I'm pretty sure that's really good for me. Because then he can't evolve, and then I have more turns of time to set up, so I, realistically, I could not go for the ditch free switches I could play more conservative if I wanted to that Mewtwo is only can't do anything uh, Dark Moon will prevent me from playing trainers but that's not that bad honestly probably, he probably doesn't want to use that as his GX attack so um, so I I don't think I want to go for a turn on Jex here. I think I just play it slow. So I'm going to Viridian away a metal. Take a water. Make sure I've got ADPs in the deck. I haven't prized any. That's great. Uh, Leon is in deck. Is the Lagoon in deck? The Lagoon is in the deck. That's good. So, yeah, I'm going to take this approach more slowly. Um, I will discard the metal. Take an ADP. Attach to it, quick ball, and take Zation. I'm just gonna have a slow start. I don't, I don't want to like. Well, then again, I've already used loads of switches by just by doing that now. But I don't need to play really aggro. Okay, I'm I'm fine with that. I'm okay. Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure that's safe. Um, okay. What is going to... Okay, so energy coming down on the Mewtwo. He could black, he could Dark Moon me, but I don't really... What is it? It just stops me from playing Trainers, right? Well, I can Viridian. Okay, there's a Marnie. That means I can serve a Switch, which is pretty nice. And had a Saucer. That was the only good card in hand. He's the guy who played the Viridian as well, so he's not like he's going to bump his own Stadium. Um, I'm pretty sure he's only playing Viridian. Yeah, just playing two Viridian. Yeah, I think I think I'm in a really good position here. I just need to play ADP. How you play ADP now? I didn't need to get turn one GX. It wasn't essential, so I have more time. I have more cards to play with. Not going to be burning all my resources. Um, it, probably going to be using Hooper Hooper's Rogue Ring, and if I can hit a uh, Marnie, that'd be really nice. Get that out of his hand. Going to search for a rare candy plus High Dragon with the Rogue Ring. I'm pretty sure. Marnie would be a very good card to draw right now. I do play free, or is it two? Free. I play free Marnie, so I should be able to hit it. Honestly, I think quick ball and just a Dene. Honestly, I got a Leon, but I can Elder Goss it for the Leon later. Unless I top deck Elder Goss, well, that's going to be annoying. But yeah, I think I just quick ball. Uh, I have Viridian as well. Just clear energies out the deck, and I think we're good to go. So let's see how it goes. Going to get that rare candy hydragon dragon, probably holding on to a draw support as well, maybe. He probably has one of the pieces in hand. Hey, there's Morwile. You see, Morwile could be played right now, he could be holding today. I have a five card hand. I feel like if I I might not need the money if I play Morwile. If I play Morwile and Yeah, I'm gonna go for the Morwile. I think that gives me a good black hand. So his hand is literally just dead, honestly. Um 
yeah, his hand seems very dead, so I don't need to money that hand. Like, he may have Rare Candy High Dragon, but that's it. There's nothing else in the hand. So I just leave that there. Then I will Quick Ball away Viridian. Grab a Dedene GX. He's holding on to Boss. He could can't kill anything with Boss, I don't think, apart from my Dedene, but I don't really mind that. So, uh, now I Viridian away the Energy. Oh, is Ardagos in the deck? Ardagos is in the deck, so I can smack that. Mewtwo next turn if I want to. There's energy, attach, and did um, did NA, did they change? Uh, that's a metal source, so I'm happy with that. Uh, I don't need some money, do I? Uh, I think this. Oh, oh, I almost clicked that. Um, I could honestly just research and keep digging. I don't know. I want a boss honestly for next turn. Kill that crowbat. Uh, um, I'm gonna go for the Reese. I'm gonna cherish ball, make sure there's a Dedene in the deck. There is a Dedene in deck, so I'm gonna research. I don't really care if he has them stuff in hand now. Uh, that hand's fine, I'm happy with that. And all auto creation GX. So now I just boss boss and win. I'm pretty sure. He could probably kill my Jadene this turn if he wants to. Let's see if he goes for that. Or he could go for the Black Lance, but he won't kill anything. Which I'll be happy with. I'll get the boss, that's all I want really. Is he playing Marnie? Uh he plays four Marnie. Okay, but I highly doubt he top decked Marnie. I just know he's got Wreck Andy, High Dragon, double energy, and a boss. And that's it. I can't remember what else was there. Okay, so there's a rare candy to get in the high dragon out. Starting the. So, realistically, if I can kill this Mewtwo and he has a list of energy on, that'll be really good for me. Because I can clear his board of energies, which would be very good for my side. But I don't know if I can hit, if I can hit that. It'll be very hard to hit. Okay. I mean, if he's gonna. What what is this? Five yeah, he needs six energies for Dark Moon. There's a did he just cherish ball? Did he top deck the cherish ball? Oh wow. Gonna search out the Dene, I'm guessing. Okay, Viridian. Not going to boss this turn. Or oh, he could go for a big pale moon GX, which will be extremely painful. Yes, that would be very painful, actually. Did he hit the energy? If he hit the energy, well, that's pretty much just game over for me. I can't play trainers, and I knock, I'm knocked out. Oh, I didn't actually think about that. Oh, my God. What does Gigafall do? 250. Oh, there's the Dark Squall. He's got the Pale Moon. That's, that hurts. I can't play trainers. What am I supposed to do? Oh my god. I mean, if I just bring up Zacian, he can't kill anything. I think I have to money him. I really... Well, two boss are gone, and he's only playing two boss. So, he can't kill this Zacian. So, I can just sit on... And yeah, I'm. Yeah, he only plays two boss, so I can Viridian away my Viridian. Take a Metal Energy. Uh, probably attach here. Probably want to kill that Mewtwo next turn. Yep. And I'll just Intrepid Sword. I'll bench an Ozation just in case. And yeah, I'll Intrepid Sword. Yeah, he's only playing. He's only playing two boss, and don't. Oh, he could use Zora Ninja actually. I just forgot about that. Oh, well, we need a lot for next turn, then. I completely forgot about Zoro Ninja. <laughs> well, if he gets Zoro Ninja down, well, that's going to be a very big L for me, honestly. Ooh. Please don't have a Zoro Ninja. There's a Cherish Ball. Is Zoro Ninja in deck, or is it prized? Please be prized. 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180. 
190. Wait, how much does Zora Ninja do? Is it 30 base? I don't know. Is it 30, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180, 210, 220. Okay, it's going to be a greedy crush. 210. That's very good for me. Because now I can just one shot that Mewtwo. Um, so I will. I need to make sure I've got everything in deck. I will use this. That is an energy. I'll attach my air balloon here. Attach here. I will goon. One carry on that Mewtwo and I'll smack it for death. Um, do I want to Marnie him? I think I might. I don't know. He's. I think Marnie could be really good, honestly. But it also could not be. I'm going to just Brave Blade. Kill the Mewtwo. Oh, this is, this is terrifying. <laughs> this is actually really scary because... Okay, he needs a lot for the game now. Oh, I... Oh, if he had Zora Ninja, I would have probably have lost by now. Thank God for Goon. <laughs> Thank God. Well played, I whiffed... Oh, he whiffed. Nah, he's, he's only playing two, right? Yup. I'm pretty sure he's only playing two. Well, on the list I've got here, he's only playing two boss. And he's discarded both of them. Thank God he's only playing two boss. Otherwise, I would have I would have just lost instantly. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, he's. I. That's seven energy in the bin. Only playing thirteen. Gotta get that dark school on. You're gonna be using. Is he gonna be using pitch black fur? Pitch black fangs. I think I have like all my sources in there. Oh, okay. He's gonna be doing that. So he got a boss around me. So I'm I'm pretty safe. Right. I need to draw all my sources now. Viridian, I oh, have to Valium. Three sources in the deck. Okay, there's a research, so do I detonate this hand? I oh, know, but there's also an Elder Goss and there's a Quick Ball, so I research. Uh, attach to Zation and research. Yes. There's the double saucer. There we go. GG. And that is Brave Blade for the game, taking two prizes on that Hydreigon. Oh, that was terrifying. That, 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 oh, that was really scary. Well, I managed to clutch it. ADPization putting in work. And that is round two. Okay, so this is round three, final round, <clears throat> both me um, against Jack Eccles. Both of us are 2-0 at the moment, and I finally won a coin flip. Let's go. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I don't mind. It's only an Aldegoss start. Okay, so I'm against Colossal VMAX. I think I can pull against this deck, honestly. Let's have a look at this list real quick. He's playing right on phones. Okay. <clears throat> so, and he is playing crushing hammers, so I need to make sure I attach metal turn one instead. Quick ball, take that Zation. Zamazenta could be good in this matchup as well for a bit of stall. And I'm going to Dedene. Okay, that is kind of harsh. I kind of want his metal energy. Oh well. <clears throat> if this crushing, if he crushing hammers it, then that's going to be really harsh. Okay, so my start is kind of shaky, but 
Let's see how it goes. He's got the surf fetch on the bench, so that means that is going to be ha that is going to have to be used. And that can be used as a gust option for me. He can't attack turn one. I can GX. Okay, I'm. He didn't use his phone. <coughs> Okay, just leaving the Colossal active. Okay, so that's an energy. I don't need to do much. I can just Saucer and attach in GX, I'm pretty sure. I think I'm going to go for that. Yeah. Two of my switches are gone. Oh, God. At least we got a turn, turn 2 GX, which is really nice. Probably going to be evolving into Colossal VMAX. Now, there's a Marnie. I'm very happy about Marnie. I don't like my hand. Don't have to burn on my switches now. Hmm. Is he playing Mallow and Lana? He's not playing Mallow and Lana actually. So, oh, he missed an energy. <coughs> um, with this hand, honestly, I think I just ultimate Ray. I don't really want to push anything. Yeah, I'm just gonna ultimate Ray. Uh, yep. Yeah. Two metal here, and one water. My hand's just like, it, I don't need much, honestly. He isn't playing Mallow and Lana either, so <laughs> it makes things a lot easier for me. <coughs> Which I'm happy about. Just kill this Colossal. I didn't Optimani, and I didn't Morwile either, because I'm just not sure on what he's got in his hand. I don't think Morwile was that great to use right now. Colossal coming down. Attaching to, yeah, he's probably, there's a money. Okay. <laughs> One card hand, it shuffles, just on the screen. Okay. Um, there's a boss, I'm very happy with that. Crushing hammer, Ugh. Okay. Tails. Guru Crobat. Uh, is he playing stamp? No. That means I'm safe to just kill the active. <laughs> and get more prizes and stuff like that. Remove an energy too, remove a potential threat. I think we're doing alright. <clears throat> uh, I think if I'm going to kill the Colossal, I have to hit it with So it has what? <clears throat> How much HP left? 170, but effectively 190 because of the um, thing. So, <clears throat> well, I could goon it. So, uh, it takes. Yeah, I could go for that. I could goon it and then. Then 160 and then the stone. Yes. <clears throat> oh, wait, you can't. Yeah. So now it has 160 HP less left, and then I do 180. That's fine. Ultimate Ray KO. Uh, more energies. I don't need energies now. I'll just attach a metal to the goon just so I don't get stalled. <coughs> and we're dandy. We're doing good. We're doing good. How many Marnie is he playing? Three Marnie. Let's check how many money he's used. Two money. He's got one money left. Okay. Resolute Sphere won't work for that. So, I'm pretty sure my position is just brilliant right now. Um, putting something at the top of the deck with that Rotom Phone. He can Primate Wisdom as well. Okay. That's energy onto Colossal. Research. That's not Armani. I have the boss in hand. I should win this game unless he's playing Stamp. Is he playing Stamp? He's not playing Stamp. I have the game. That's good. That's good. Okay. I'm happy with that. <coughs> Let's just let him carry on. Colossal. 
I remember when I was playing Colossal for ages. <laughs> I played it for the Freezing Gaze match. I should have just played ADP. But Colossal is a fun deck to play. Like I like Rogue a lot, and Colossal's like it's not Rogue, but it's like Tier Two. I like I like to play like Tier Two and Rogue kind of decks. It's like I don't normally play Tier One or Tier Zero and ADP. Oh, now I play ADP. I'm one of them kids. And ADP goes down. I bring Zation up, boss, win the game, and I have won the team challenge. Um, yeah, show him the well played, boss of that crowbat, and brave. Blade. You have a good deck. Yeah, I love it when people say that. It's just like a funny meme. <clears throat> well, that is the game. I have won. Let's go. I'm happy with that. That's game three. Three o. And there we have it. That is the tournament over. This is my list. I was playing uh, towards ADP lists actually, so yeah, uh, I'm not going to go into any discussion on it right now, but this is the list. If you want to screenshot it, obviously it's not my list, it's towards, remember that. Don't go saying it's mine. I highly doubt you'll do that anyway. Just make sure you know it's towards. I'll take, um, give us a credit for that. I'm um, not going to be running through any information about the deck yet, like talking why things have played. Uh, I'll make a video on that soon. But yeah, so that, this is the list, screenshot now, and I'll show you the standings too. This is my Streamlabs as well. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is the standings. Uh, so we got first, uh, I managed to win. It was a six-man six event, but um, it was some text games, especially against, um, it was against, who was against Craig. Um, he was playing Dark Box, and that was just a hard matchup. No, well, not a hard matchup, but I feel like because he topped like, the Cherish Ball, and then Pale, is it Pale Moon or Dark Moon? I can't remember. Dark Moon, GX, and then I was like, oh, right, this is hard, so, yeah, that was going to be very hard to do against that, but I managed to pull out, and he was only playing two bosses, so I managed to win. So, yeah, thanks for watching, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all later.